Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another fun, fast Tinkercad tutorial. So let's get cracking. Friends, this is another user request. These are my favorite types of projects because I know that it's what you want. So the user wants this train track to go all the way around. I've got a trick that makes it super simple. Let me show you how we're going to do it. So first, I've got that small piece right there that's going to be one of the tracks. I'm going to do control D and I want to move it all the way across. Let's do F for fit view. I'm going to micro nudge so that this lines up the way I want. I think that looks pretty even. I'm going to double check from the top. Yeah, so that's exactly what I want. So friends, the trick works like this. If I do shift select, make sure I get the green one. And I did. Now I can do control D. And those two moved, so I'm going to just start again. I want to make sure I don't have that move from before selected. So let's do shift select again. I've got those two. And now when I do control D and rotate, I'm going to choose nine degrees because I know nine times four is 36. And there are 360 degrees in a circle. And now if we don't touch anything else and just do control D all the way around, our train tracks stay right around that center and bingo the project is completed how cool is that now of course i want to make them all the right color i'm going to real quickly hide this i'm going to get rid of those ones that we don't need because they don't fit anymore and how about we make these brown because they'd be the railroad ties and of course if we do show all bingo we have got railroad ties around our track how cool is that all right friends so we have got those awesome railroad ties let me show you how we'd make the railroad tracks i would do it with the tube i'm going to make this round that's the first step i'm going to take the wall thickness i'm going to make it 0 0.2 and then i'm going to take the radius and let's try seven I'm going to make it black. I'm going to shrink it down. I think 0.2 is good in this direction as well. Let's align that. L for align. I'm going to choose middle in both these directions. And I do want it to be up near the top. And you can see, bingo, we've got our track. Now we just got to get our measurements. Instead of 7, let's try 6.5. And bingo, now we can do control D. And we can do six for the second one. And there you have it. Railroad tracks. How cool is that? Once again, of course, I need to thank Steve for asking the question. Friends, if you ever create something awesome like this cute little Detroit Lions Jeep I created and you want to share it with me, it is so simple. Click this button, generate a link, copy that link, and then you can reach out and share it with me. I am HL Mod Tech on Facebook, Instagram, Gmail, and TikTok. You can also find me on Twitter. I am HL Tinkercad. If those options are not available to you, don't forget, you can also visit hlmodtech.com. It is my website with a page dedicated to Tinkercad, tons of amazing lessons, and then down at the bottom, the sweet built-in messaging tool. Friends, you can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion and reach me almost instantly. I do also want to highlight the Tinkercad Community Discord. Friends, as you can see, we've got more than 400 members and it is a fantastic place to talk anything Tinkercad. Friends, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.